150,000 likes, 14,500 comments, comments, and 21,000 people made it their favourite. Um, so it's absolutely vast in terms of engagement. Obviously, in terms of fundraising, there's some work to be done there. Um, but like I said, we, we learned a lot. And some of the challenges of working with this kind of celebrity, it's very, very different to working with a traditional celebrity. These guys are really young. They're not media trained. Um, they have created their own channels from scratch, and they're not used to being edited. So, um, you know, when we went in saying, you know, we need to sign off on the final creative, that was a really new thing for them. So there was learnings on both sides. Um, I don't know whether it's their age or the nature of the content that they normally deliver, but they were quite uncomfortable about talking about the issues. So they they found it difficult to communicate the need. And that's something that for us we know is an incredibly powerful thing. We know when you talk about the cause, that's what makes people give. And that was a challenge to communicate. Um, it became apparent over the course of the campaign that that was the thing that was making people give more. Um, but that was something that initially they were very nervous about. Because they were, they were afraid it was at odds with their style and it was going to turn off fans. Um, but the positives, we, we we learned a phenomenal amount, like I said. Um, we learned about the behaviour of that audience, we learned about the behaviour both internationally and in the UK. Um, we earn ad revenue off that video, so um, that's, that's a different interesting shift for us in determining where you put your content. Is it better placed on the TV or is it better placed on YouTube where you actually can earn money from it um, in a different way? Um, it's opened up an international audience to us that we're sort of grappling with how we engage with. Um, and these are the future fundraisers for us. We want to get these people on board because, you know, if, if we can get them now, and this is the age that for us they sort of drop off, you know, younger kids in school, we have a powerful relationship with them, but teenagers, they're really hard to reach. And we hope they come back to us, but we're trying to find ways to engage them more deeply so that we don't lose them in the first place. Um, and something that, something else that we learned, not just from this initiative, but also from initiatives that are happening at the same time in other ways, was that this group responds well to rewards. So if we had had more time to plan and if we had knew what we know now, we would probably run this sort of campaign almost like a crowdfunder, employing crowdfunding principles. Um, there are a couple of um, initiatives that I just want to mention. One is PewDiePie, who, I, um, who was the guy that I showed at the beginning. He's now run two charity campaigns, um, one with um, Charity Water and one this year with um, Save the Children. <laughs> Um, is anyone from Safe in the room? Um, so he raised about half a million dollars for charity in water and uh, about 340,000 for um, Safe. And that was all done through crowdfunding where he would basically offer a structure of rewards. So depending on how much you gave, you would get something in return. It might just be a mention on his show. Uh, it might, uh, I mean, to, to show the power of this guy, two people paid 50,000 dollars um, to experience Pewdie Fridays with PewDiePie, which is a thing that he does where he kind of features you on a day of his show. Um, so these guys are big business. Um, and another one I just wanted to touch on is um, a company called Amaze, who operate in North America. They, it's effectively an online competition, but they structure their campaigns very much like crowdfunding, so it's, it's the same sort of gradation of rewards depending on how much you give. Um, they ran a campaign um, using the Breaking Bad franchise. So the prize was to um, cook with Jesse and Walt at the season finale of Breaking Bad. They would pick you up from the airport, take you to the to the show, and eat some food for, for, for that day. Um, and it raised 1.8 million dollars. And a million of those dollars came in in 24 hours, um, and nearly crashed their system. Um, and they were raising money for the Kind campaign, um, which is a very niche charity. Um, the, it's called, it's, the cause is around um, violence between women, basically. Um, and the reason that they raised money for that charity was because the found, one of the founders was the wife of Aaron Paul, who's one of the stars of Breaking Bad. So, you know, we, we're very conscious that people probably think it's very easy for comic relief, and, and in lots of ways it is, but in some ways, charities who have a single cause, a really powerful cause, and a strong connection. Um, can sometimes find celebrities in a way that creates a much more powerful relationship than, than if you, know, you have an opportunity to be on a TV show. Um, 